Wow. Yeah. Let's see if we can't get Jason Silva on the line here out of Bet Fred Sportsbook. Jason, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great, guys. Thanks for having me. Now, you do quite a few things for Bet Fred and uh, a lot of digital work, a lot of marketing work. Could you kind of run it down for our folks uh, out there listening? What exactly is Bet Fred and, and what's kind of your role with, uh, with those guys? Yeah, sure. Bet Fred's uh, an established bookmaker from the UK. Uh, been around uh, over 50 years now. Um, just entered the US market here about three years ago and uh, been expanding quite rapidly. Uh, a new name to most, but uh, to, to a lot of people in the industry, obviously, you're quite familiar with our uh, UK based roots and, uh, and other markets around the world as well. Yeah. Uh, I, I do a lot of the partnership stuff. At this point, I came in, I used to be on the other side as a better uh, full time for a while after I got done coaching college football. Uh, not done, but I left college co- coaching college football to lean into the sports bank stuff, couldn't do both. Um, so came on uh, as an analyst, and then I, uh, I started off running our apps and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of everything here. So it's uh, been really great, and we're a growing company and uh, really trying to compete with the big dogs, uh, so to speak, here in the U.S. market. Yeah, and, and a couple guys from Nebraska, we're kind of envious of what you guys have oh, going sure. on <laughs> in Colorado, Ohio, Iowa. I mean, you guys have a, a skybox at the Iowa Cubs, right? The AAA baseball team. Yeah, that's right. We do. We are part <laughs> yeah. of the Iowa Cubs uh, and also the Iowa Wild. Got to love it. Uh, Hell yeah. So yeah, both uh, both uh, organizations. So it's been great. Uh, we tried, we're trying to really lean into being the local and personalized sports book there in Iowa, and you'll uh, see a lot of our presence there much more. Uh, we're on the border of where you guys are, right? Uh, so it's yeah, coming. see a lot of us there in months to come, years to come. Heck we, yeah, that's awesome. We think it's coming to Nebraska as well. Just give us a little time. We're always a little behind <laughs> here in the, the, the good old Cornhusker State. Uh, but you guys have a fantastic sports book, Brick and Mortar, the Saratoga Casino in Blackhawk, Colorado. Um, but then you guys are also talking about being localized and part of the community. You guys are the official sports betting partner of the Denver Broncos. So you always have your thumb on the pulse, and we always like to talk Denver Broncos. So let's start right there with you, uh, Jason. Um, and do I got that right? You guys are the official sports betting partner of the Broncos? Yeah, we are one of them, and we are also at the Cincinnati Bengals in the NFL. Awesome. Fantastic. So Denver's been having a tough year here. <laughs> Everyone kind of knows that, and we've been beating up on them a little bit here. And when we do uh, throw a little shade their way, we usually come out on top as betters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this year at least yeah this yep. year yeah um now they're on the road um over a touchdown dog here to the baltimore ravens it's just been tough sledding i mean not only record wise but against the spread i believe denver has lost the last seven games against the spread <laughs> how are you looking at this one jason yeah i believe uh i've told my head i think they're three and eight against the spread but what they are yep. is ten and one to the under yes uh so a fantastic under team uh, looking at this matchup, it opened up at six and a half, but obviously with the sentiment to, of the Broncos right now, um, and the you know Ravens coming off a loss, you think it's going to be a, most people would think it's got to be a get right spot. So a jump from six and a half from the open, that yeah. Fred, uh, we're up to nine and a half on that game. Wow. So still under touchdown. Uh, the total opened up at forty one and a half, as you can imagine. To take a guess, and the totals dropped down. since. So sitting strong, it's that going trend, down. Yeah. Uh, both pretty logical, right? As you'd think. For sure. Um, if I had to make a pick, uh, I, I would actually, well, I'll tell you this. I don't think it's actually quite the get right spot offensively that most people would assume it would be with the Ravens. I think this Broncos defense is actually still really strong. Mm-hmm. I think they got a tough job defending short fields and, uh, on yeah. the field for quite a bit this season. So, uh, I think they give the Ravens trouble. I like the under even the 38 and a half, which is, uh, you know, you don't see too many totals, uh, into the high thirties, but I still would like the under there. If I would make a pick. No, I totally agree with you. That is going to be my best bet of this game, obviously, is the 38-and-a-half under. Uh, yeah, the Ravens aren't acting like world beaters right now, and that no. Denver Broncos no. defense is still elite. Yeah. They still keep them in games. They just can't score points as one of the <laughs> ranked dead last in the league at 14.3 points per game. Russell Wilson just can't get it going, but right. I do believe you when you say that that under will hit, and I, I really think it's going to be one of, one of the best bets to put in parlays or or just you know bet straight up this weekend. So I really like that you said that. So uh, one other thing that I would like to um, you know another game that we try to get into here. We're talking about the Chiefs and Bengals. 
a big time matchup, probably a you know a showdown in the AFC uh, playoffs this coming year. Yeah. Where do you, where do you see this game going? We got it over here right now with the Bengals being a two and a half point dog at home. Yeah, so the number's actually two now. Uh, one and a half even. At some Dang. places, we're at two. Yeah. yeah, we're at two. It's starting to move that way. I, yeah. If I were to guess, yeah. I think it's going to move closer to that one. I, uh, I agree. By kickoff, it opened at three. Uh, obviously, the Bengals are cruising right now. And, and look, the Bengals have their number. If you look at it last for year, sure. they gave them twice last yep. year. Yeah. Uh, Chase went off. Chase said he sat out for precautionary reasons last week to be back this week. Right. Um, that total's risen again uh, as well. If I didn't mention that, I believe it went from fifty-one and a half up to fifty-three. We're holding it right now. That bet for Ed. Uh, yeah. Again, no surprise to see the total rise there with the offensive production and the matchups from last year. Um, and hey, the uh, the Bengals. You know, uh, it, it, people say right. You know, when you got a target on your back where you're like a ghost coming out, it, it's different, right? When <laughs> it uh, is. Expectations are really high. Yeah. But you think yeah. you know Bengals are going to get everybody's best game this year. Uh, that was, you know, kind of the storyline last week at the the Titans after getting knocked off in the AFC Championship no doubt about last that. year, right? Heck yeah. So, uh, so you know, but the Bengals still came out and uh, they they thrashed them, do what they needed to do to get a win. I think uh, I think they can do the same thing this week. Uh, you come out and get a W. Yeah, and as far as against the spread, Kansas City Chiefs have had uh, a little bit of an issue this year. Yeah. Only going five or six overall against the spread. Cincinnati's on the other side of that. They're eight and three. When this opened up at that three and a half, four, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't jump fast enough yeah. on the Bengals. Uh, now you're starting to see that line react to it. Um, what do you think of this over under, though? I'm looking at 52 and a half uh, on a census. Yeah, we're, and we're at 53 uh, mm-hmm. at this point. Again, uh, no, no surprise. Um, I actually would probably like the under. Uh, you know, everybody likes the over here. Yeah, I think this this uh, uh, Bengals defense, specifically in the second half, is absolutely elite. Um, yeah. I, you know, the Chiefs has have pretty easy sailing and success against everybody. I think that with Reader back up front uh, in this defense, really starting to cruise uh, for the Bengals. I think it's a scrappier game than people think. And, and you got to think about this, and it will tie back to the other part about uh, the spread here. And you mentioned not covering the spread, the Chiefs. That is. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to think the totals are always inflated a couple points, right? Yeah. Considering everybody <laughs> wants to bet overs and Chiefs. Yeah. So bookmakers know that, and they're going to set the total of a few points higher, right? Yeah. Uh, same thing with the spread, and that's why you see him perform so poorly ATS. Uh, and it was actually a trend last year. I think they right. were like, and I was just off, off the top of my head, but they were like 5-11 and 11 or 4-12 and 12 or something ATS yeah, last year. For sure. They went exactly. and, I remember seven in a row at a point. So um, <laughs> a, 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 a Opposite of what the Broncos are doing, and they're outperforming the under market, right? They can't put those totals low enough, and the Broncos like the the, they just, right. the market can't adjust enough. Exactly, it's the opposite <laughs> here with the Chiefs, where the the market continually <laughs> overcompensates, overadjusts, and uh, provides value on the other side. And I think that's what you're getting with the Bengals, especially if you got them when they opened at that three. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, Husker fans, Nebraska fans that are actually uh, turned Bengals fans because of Cam Taylor Britt, second round pick out of last year, part of that defense. He's turning into a a starter yeah. and believe it or not, Joe Burrow was targeted by the Huskers. <laughs> his uncle, his dad, his other uncle all played for the Nebraska Huskers. Just wasn't good enough to play for the Huskers. We we blew it. Yeah. We blew it, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we blew that one big time. <laughs> well, Jason, uh, he, didn't, uh, he watched Taylor. Mar- what was it, Martinez? Right? You guys had for years. Yeah, oh, Adrian and Taylor. Yeah, yeah he, we had the Martinez yeah. brothers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, I think that probably turned them off a little bit. Turned for, me off from for uh, sure. For sure. My, <laughs> my goodness. My goodness. Well, Jason, thank you so much for being with us. Anything going on with Betfred that you'd like our listeners to hear about? Uh, I mean, there's there's a ton, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, you know, closest to you guys just to be regional, right, and, and get back to what yeah. we're really trying to do is provide a personalized and local sportsbook feel. Yeah. Uh, you'll be seeing uh, a lot of uh, – a- Next season, I'll tell you, definitely some a lot of stuff around Nebraska football. It's boost, best price. We're trying to really uh, – be on that border, the book that you guys come over and bet with, right? Now you can't bet legally in Nebraska, but I know you're pretty close. A lot of people are on the border. Yeah. And I know there's plenty of Oscar fans uh, in Iowa, right? So yeah, uh, we're sure. really trying to localize to Iowa and Nebraska teams and uh, provide that local feel. And you'll see us a lot, whether it's through events, um, partnering with local teams, popping up uh, on the outskirts of campuses, uh, you know, uh, throwing events and whatnot. Uh, you'll see Bedford a lot awesome. uh, locally out, out your guys' way. And as soon as the uh, Nebraska market opens, I I would hope that uh, I don't know, and I'm definitely not saying that we are, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I would hope, uh, considering the the dedication we're putting in locally out there, that uh, you'll see Bedford out there eventually at some point too in Nebraska. Uh, 
when yeah. you guys get there. That yeah. would be great. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, I hope so. Well, Jason, once again, thank you so much for joining us here on Where's the Line WTL, making the show a little bit better, dropping some of that knowledge. <laughs> All right, guys.